Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video I'm going to create the following dashboard which is about Amazon Prime Video. As you can see here we have different charts. We're going to start by by radial bar chart for the top ratings. Next we are going to create a donut chart for shows by type. After that we have an area chart, a horizontal bar chart, we have also a map and also as you can see we have a lot of text sheets which will give us details about each title. For example, when we select here a title, we'll get the type, the release year, the cast, description, genre, and the duration. So if it is a movie, it will give us duration in minutes. If it is a TV show, it will give us duration in seasons. But before start working with Tableau, let's first explore our data set. As you can see, we have Amazon Prime movies and TV shows. You can find this link in the description if you want to download directly the data set from Kaggle. You can also find the second link which is about the same data set in my GitHub repository. As you can see here the data set have close to 10,000 movies or TV shows up to mid 2021. And as it is mentioned in here, this tabular data set consists of listings of all movies and TV shows available on Amazon Prime with some details such as the cast, directors, ratings, release year, duration, etc. Here we have the columns. So we have 12 columns. We have unique show ID. Next we have the type. So if it is a movie or TV show. After that we have the title. Next we have the director. As you can see here we have 22% of null values. Same thing, next we have the cast. So after that we have the country, as you can see, we have 93% of null values. Date added, release year, rating, and duration. And also we have listed in, so this is the genre and the description. So here we have some details. We have 12 columns, 10 of them with string data type. One is date time and one is an integer. So now let's start creating our charts using Tableau. So as you can see here, we have imported our data set, which is Amazon Prime Titles.csv. We have 12 fields, so 12 columns and nearly 10,000 rows. We are going to use another text file. Same thing, you can find the link to download this file in description. And this file contains two values. We are going to use these two values in order to create our radial bar chart. Same thing, for more details on how to create radial bar chart, you can check the link available in the description. So the first thing that we are going to do is we click open, we drag and drop the second file in here. So here create join calculation, write one, apply, okay. Same thing in here, one, apply ok as you can see here each id is duplicated or each row in our previous data set is duplicated and each one of them has one value which is zero and the other one is 270 so 270 represents the degrees or three quadrants from circle and we are going to use these values in order to create our path for our radial bar chart so go to worksheet so the first thing that we are going to do is right click, format, and we are going to format using our color codes. For the shading, we go to worksheet, we select the following color. I click on more colors and you can use the following code in order to use it as background or as shading for our worksheets. Okay, so we click on OK. Next, we click on format and we are going to format our workbook. Worksheets, we put them in 8 bold white. And for the title, same thing, put them in 12 bold and white. So the title of this sheet will be Top Ratings. Okay. And now I'm going to create our calculated fields. We we'll click on the down icon in here, create calculated field, we name it Total Ratings. And it will be count distinct of the title. Apply. Okay. Next, we are going to use value in order to create our path. So click create bins. We name it path. 
size of bins 1 starts from 0 to 270 okay next we are going to create my index because by default the index function in tableau starts from 1 but we want our path to start from 0 so my index will be equals to index minus 1 apply ok next create another calculated field we name it my total and it will be window max of total ratings apply ok next create my rank which will be rank unique of my total in the ascending order apply ok and now i'm going to duplicate my total and we rename it my total max as you can see here my total and my total max have exactly the same formula but my total will be used for each row whereas my total max we select the highest total ratings among all the list so we create our calculated field name it percentage and it will be my total divided by my total max apply okay since we are going to create a radial bar chart and we are going to deal with arcs so we are going to use cartesian coordinates and to do that we are going to create x and y coordinates first one is x we are going to create it using the cosine function so radians of my index multiplied by the percentage everything multiplied by my rank okay so we copy that apply okay create another calculated field we name it y and we are going to use the same formula with the sine function apply okay so drag and drop x into the rows y into the columns path into detail rating into color we click on format workbook so we remove the grid lines and zero lines now i'm going to edit table calculations so click on x edit table calculations my index it will be along the path my total same thing along the path my total max path and rating and my rank it will be for the different ratings so do the same thing for y in the table calculations for my rank the rating for my total max path and rating for my total it will be along the path and for my index it will be along the path now we change automatic into line the path it will be the path we're going to remove null value so press ctrl key drag and drop rating into filters and we remove the null value apply okay and you want to select only the ratings which have total rating greater than 100 so start from 100 apply okay now I'm going to format our worksheet. So right click, remove the header. Same thing in here, remove the header. For the color, edit color. So press control key, we select all the ratings like that. Double click, and we write the following code. 00A8E1. Okay, apply, okay. And we increase the size. We press control key with drag and drop rating into label same thing total ratings into the label we click on label line ends we don't want label end of line we click on the text and we put it in this format apply ok right click format i going to add the borders so we put everything in white white 
white row divider in white and the column divider in white same thing for the title we add the border in white double click and put it in the center apply ok just so like that we have our top ratings within our data set next we are going to create a donut chart so create new worksheet same thing format for the shading we put our color we drag and drop the type into the color and we select pie same thing we drag and drop title into the size and we select measure count and it will be the percent of total so press control key we drag and drop the type into the label and same thing for the count double click on rows right zero ok we press ctrl key and we duplicate the value we we'll go to the second one we remove everything for the color we select the first one as you can see here we have the code right ok increase the size a little bit same thing for the first one we increase the size and we select dual axis entire view and we hide the header we can edit the colors so edit colors we put it in blue assign apply and as you can see here we can put tv show in light blue and for the movie we can put it using our code 00a8e1 ok apply ok and like that we get our donut chart so we can change the title so we have shows by type ok double click we put it in the center and we add the border we can hide the legend same thing in here we can also increase the size a little bit And like that we get our final donut chart for the shows by type next we are going to create our area chart for shows by release year and type so click on your worksheet same thing format we select our shading we drag and drop the release year into the columns show id into the rows and we select count distinct we select area chart right and we drag and drop the type into the color double click on the axis fixed we put 2021 not reversed and we remove the title same thing on this one we remove the title we press ctrl key and we drag and drop the type into the label we click on label and allow labels to overlap other marks we change the title so we have the shows by release year and type ok double click put it in the center apply ok right click format and we add our borders so we put everything in white Or divider and same thing for the column divider same thing for the title we add the border in white so like that you get our area chart for shows by release year and type same thing we can hide the card next we are going to create our horizontal bar chart for top 10 genera so we duplicate this one we remove everything We rename it to top 10 genera ok so draw and draw list it in into the rows we change it to automatic and we drag and drop the show id into the columns so we select count 
distinct we sort so press control key with drag and drop listed in into the filters and we select the top 10 by count distinct of show id apply okay we select the entire view we press control key which we can drop the total into the label and we remove the title for the color we can use our color as you can see here we have the code which is 00a8e1 okay right click and hide field labels for rows and like that we get our horizontal bar chart for top 10 genre next we are going to create the map so duplicate this one remove everything we rename it into total shows by cache but as you have seen when we put for example country in here and show id into text we select count distinct and you select standard you can see that we have a lot of null values and also there are some fields which contain more than a country so tableau will see that as null values but we are going to create our map for the available values so we remove everything remove this one so we double click on country we click on map background maps we select dark we click on automatic we select map for the unknown right click hide indicator we drag and drop show id into the color and we select count distinct so drag and drop country into filters and we remove null apply ok and for the colors edit color for the maximum i are going to select our color which has the following code so we have double zero a eight e one ok apply ok and like that we get our map for total shows by country as you can see here we have the united states with 253 then we have India for 229 and we have the remaining countries with different values now I'm going to create our text sheets so we duplicate this one put it in here so we remove everything we drag and drop title into the filters select one apply ok show filter and customize we remove all single value drop down we format our filter so for the font we put it in black and we start by description so we drag and drop description into the text right click hide title for the text we put it in the center and we change the name so we put description so we copy that click on text and we put it in here ok we select everything we put it in the center apply ok we can also for example for description so click on text one more time and for example we put it in 10 apply ok so duplicate this one second one it will be cast we select everything copy so we remove description and we put cast same thing we paste cast in here ok first one we put it in 10 we select everything we put it in the center apply ok next we have the release year so we duplicate release here same thing we copy remove release year we click we paste ok 
first one put it in 10 we select everything in the center apply ok next we have duration duplicate so we have duration we copy remove we drag and drop duration into text we click on text so we paste ok first one put it in 10 center apply ok next we have genera remove list it in for the text so we paste first one 10 select everything in the center apply ok and last one we have the type so duplicate type remove drag and drop the type click on text and we put it in 10 select everything center apply ok so like that we have created all the text sheets one thing that you can do is to remove the filters so height card here same thing height card height card height card so keep only the first one and we say apply to worksheets selected worksheets and we are going to select all the text sheets ok now we are going to create our dashboard so click on new dashboard the size it will be 1850 and 1050 click on dashboard format for the color we are going to select our color and now we are going to drag and drop the different sheets so we start by top ratings next we have the area chart after that we have the donut chart Let's put it in here then we have the horizontal bar chart we to adjust the size like that this one we put it here okay all right then we add the map after that we are going to add the logo so double click on image same thing you can find the link in the description okay so as you can see here we have the same colors as our sheets i want to adjust the size like that same thing for this one like this For this one we put it as floating and we put it inside the map remove we remove the title we format so we add the border in white and we put it like this okay Now I'm going to add the text sheets. So start from description, put it in here. So we hide the title and we have the cast. And for the filter, I'm going to put it in here. Format. So it will be in white. and it will be 
12 in the center same thing in here it will be white and the border in white okay so decrease this one a little bit same thing for this one we hide the title okay next we are going to add the remaining text sheets so we start from the type then the genre then duration and release year so high title high title high title same thing in here so decrease this one and we decrease this one so if we select the presentation mode we get our final dashboard for Amazon Prime video as you can see here when we change the title we get the different details so that's it for this tutorial I hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial